Hey, what up, TikTok? I just uh, I just wanted to talk to y'all about something real quick, man. Um, I was speaking to a loved one that's in the hospital in Atlanta, right? She's visiting another loved one in the hospital. And I had to remind her to be careful in the Atlanta hospitals, right? Because they're all in on it. And when I say that, what I, what I mean by that is, uh, those of y'all that know me know I used to, I used to, uh, I used to hunt, you know, I used to hunt sex traffic. I used to bring babies back. That was my goal to bring children back in Atlanta at when it was, when sex trafficking was at one of its heights. And this was back in 2018, 2019, those years. And I had an ally in it, y'all. It was it was Donald Trump, uh, because he, because he made missing and missing women and children a national emergency, dedicating the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and the Coast Guard to finding our our missing women and children. Uh, it was I had I had the backing of the president and everything that I was doing, even so much as trying to put pressure on Atlanta to create a vice a vice squad dedicated to finding missing women and children. Now, Atlanta being a city as big as it is, it should have had a vice. By the way, TikTok's probably going to take this video down, y'all, because I'm about to tell y'all some real shit. Well, one of the girls that I end up bringing home, um, when I, when I, if I brought these girls home, I would sit and I would do a debrief, right? Of, and I'd try to get, try to build my charts to go find other girls. I'd, I'd use uh, association matrices, <clears throat> uh, time events, charts, and, and that sort of thing, right? And try to build this picture, paint this picture to go find these girls. So I would debrief them. And one girl had had escaped before, went to the police, the Atlanta Police Department. Again, TikTok's probably going to take this down. She went to the Atlanta Police Department. She told them, I mean, uh, they took her to the hospital. She saw the doctor. The doctor returned her to the police's custody, to the police custody, Atlanta, Atlanta Police Department, and they gave her back to her trafficker. This is real shit I'm telling y'all. So I, I say that to say this, right? That was going on under the Trump administration, and, in, and Trump had a war on that shit. A, there was a war on that shit, and he... If you if you follow him, right, he 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 threatened Venezuela and El Salvador with uh, with their MS-13 problem. He said if they didn't get their MS-13 problem under control, that he was going to invade them. And MS-13 were the ones that was doing all the sex trafficking. So while he was doing that, I called myself trying to clean it up from like the inside type shit. But I had the backing of the president. Um, we're under the opposite we're right now we're under the opposite of what trump was trying to do like if okay if ms think think about this right if ms-13 was so profitable and so successful in in bringing babies in outside the border we have thousands of them inside the border now so i need everybody to be vigilant with your children uh, when I was in Atlanta, I had a program where business business owners would have a sign that I created outside their door that said uh, "Child uh, Atlanta Atlanta Child Safety Zone." Right, and I had I had to deal with these business owners that if a child ran in there saying that they were being chased by uh, a trafficker or something like that, that they would hold that child. Give me a call and let me escort this child to their to their home. Um, in exchange for that, I would provide them a service like free security or something like that, man. But most people just did it because it was the right thing to do. And that's something that we need to bring back in our communities. Um, so, yeah, it was I would go in there and I'd, I'd watch the cameras of, of, of gas stations where girls are snatched out of gas stations or chased into gas stations by people and uh man they'd be i've had guys like have had girls tell me stories where 
the guys literally going from aisle to aisle trying to catch them in the gas station to where and uh, the guy had to come off behind the counter and chase him up out of there. Like it was it, it's a it was aggressive then. I can only imagine what it is right now under this administration. So I ain't going to hold y'all too much longer, man. Watch your babies because they're all in on it. Get your kids whistles, man. I used to pass out whistles in Atlanta to kids, man. Like, get your kids' whistles, man, and tell them it's not a toy. It's to get attention. That's all I got, man. Peace.